Well, they seem to fit that description now, don't they? There's one way to find out for sure, isn't there? Let me see them. Oh, they ain't here. He's being held down at the farm. Now, by farm, I assume you mean the road gang. Mm -hmm. When was the trial, Sheriff? Well, there wasn't any. No trial? Well, what I mean is, not yet. When do you think it might be? Well, that trigger judge will be around here sooner or later, I expect. We'll get around it sometime. When men are accused of a crime, you don't get around to trying them. Well, that's the way it is around here. I'm sorry. You denied these men a trial by jury and committed them to a road gang, and you're sorry. Where are you going? I'm going to telegraph the circuit judge for a writ, releasing those men into my custody and demand an immediate trial. Then I'm riding out to the prison. And when I get there, Sheriff, you'd better be there. Are you Risley? I'm Captain Risley. My name is Jared Barkley. I've come here to see my brothers, Heath and Nick Barkley. Oh, yes. Well, those were the two thieves you arrested, weren't they, Sheriff? That's right, Cap. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Barkley, but their privileges have been suspended. Not permitted any visitors. Unless, of course, you have some uh, official document overruling my authority. I wasn't able to find the circuit judge, so I don't have a writ right at the moment. Well, then things will just have to remain as they are. I'm very sorry, Mr. Barkley. You had to make that long journey for nothing. Risley, I didn't take this long journey for nothing. I refer you to the Federal Code, Chapter 8, Paragraph 12, Subsection 9. Any official, federal, state, or territorial who impedes in any manner, a qualified attorney in the practice of his profession is guilty of committing a crime punishable by fine or imprisonment or both. Now, Mr. Risley, as an attorney licensed to practice law in a number of states, this one included, I don't have to ask you to see my clients, which my brothers have just become. I have an unqualified right to see them. <laughs> Well, the fact that you're an attorney does alter the situation. Naturally, sir, you have my permission to consult with your clients. Here, just a minute. Peterson, allow Mr. Barkley to visit his clients. Your gun, Mr. Barkley. Heath. Jared. He's very sick, Jared. How did it happen? For one thing, a burned leg, no doctor to attend it. They won't give him any good food so he can get his strength back, and they whipped him. All right. The circuit judge should be in Brazos by now. I'm going to ride there and bring him back here just as fast as I can. In the meantime, whatever you do, don't antagonize Risley. Well, I'm going to have to stop breathing to guarantee that. Nick, you're going to have to ride that horse of yours into the ground to make it back here on time. I'll make it. Peterson! Your time is up, Mr. Barkley. Hang on, Heath. It'll only be a little while longer. Hang on. Yeah. Risley? Yes, Counselor. I'll be back with the circuit judge. The California Barclays. A 
How could have McGowan been so stupid as to pick them? Well, the point is he did. And we weren't much smarter waiting till now to place them. Uh, I'm forgetting out of this thing while we still can, Captain. And abandon this entire operation? Never. Well, look, these ain't saddle bums we're talking about. They're Barclays. When they talk to the judge and then after him, the prison commission, they'll be listened to. Well, they can't do much talking if they're dead. We could never get away with that now. Murder, no. But if they attempted a prison break? You mean force them to try? How? There are ways. Many ways. Captain. Now all we have to do is wait. Your attention. Now. It'll be hot enough today to kill a man standing still. Let alone pounding rock. Therefore, there'll be no work today. After inspection, you'll return to your quarters. Peterson, prepare them for inspection. Stand to for the captain's inspection. Button your shirt. He's making it plain. In his condition, the box will kill that boy. Arms down. He hasn't had any water. Did you say something, 370? Say he hasn't had any water. Do you wish to speak? Permission to speak, sir. Granted. He hasn't had any water. Excuse me, sir, but uh, the guards are ready to leave for town. I was wondering if you could sign this order. It takes five guards to pick up one wagon load of barbed wire. That's quite a bit of wire, sir. We'll be undermanned. Very well. Provided they'll be back by morning call. Yes, sir. Now, you were saying? Captain. Please. Peterson, dismiss. You men are confined to quarters. Detail, dismiss. You can find the quarters, Barkley. Chance. Take it. 
But what kind of a man are you? That's your brother out there, and you, and you don't care. Don't. Don't you ever say that to me again. We, we've got to wait for Jared to get back. All right. But while you're waiting, your brother, he could die. Checked with Frank in town. Barkley's brother and the judge may be here sometime tonight. And Barkley still hasn't taken the bait. Bring him in here. Sit down. Aren't you going to ask me about 597? 597. Five, That's a man you have out in that sweat box. He's Barkley, not a bunch of numbers. Aren't you going to ask me about him? Would it do any good? You're still full of your own pride, aren't you? Well, that doesn't surprise me. I know you well enough by now. We're even. I've killed enough corn pigs in my time to know enough about you. You want to kill me? I do. And given the opportunity, you'll try. I will. Well, in view of this situation, I'd say the distance between the intent and the deed may prove an impossible journey for you. I'll work it out. Oh, really? How? I don't know. Yet. Oh, yes. Patience. Patience. The way of the intelligent man. Wait until you're free, and then pick your own time. Meanwhile, of course, 597 will be dead. At this very moment, I warrant, his flesh is being burnt raw. His tongue is so swollen that it chokes him. No doubt he is gradually losing his sanity. That explains the mumbled sounds, the incoherent noise. What do you want? Tell me! What kind of a price does it take to buy you? Anything you want. Any price. But just let him out of there. There is one thing I might accept. Yes. Now, you said anything. You really care that much for him? Any price. Money? That's really not quite so rare a commodity. What's your dignity? Your precious Barclay dignity. Now, that does command the value. Now, what is the price of your brother's life? What is the only thing, the only thing that will take that key to the sweat box and give it to you? Well, it's simple, very simple. Your dignity. Will you beg? Will you beg? From a man you hate, will you get down on your hands and knees and beg? Men don't beg. Exactly. 